Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, let's take another look at uninstalling applications on the Mac. So way back in episode 157, I showed you how to uninstall applications on the Mac. Now things have changed a little bit with Lion and the Mac App Store, so I wanted to take another look. Now in Lion, we've got Launchpad. When you run Launchpad, you get this list of all your applications. Now, if you're a power user, you may not use Launchpad. You may stick to the dock or using Spotlight to launch applications. But Launchpad does allow you to uninstall applications, but only applications that you installed with the Mac App Store. So, for instance, I'm going to click and hold on any app here. Click and hold, and they will all start to jiggle. Now, I get the little X button at the upper left hand corner of any icon of an app that I've installed in the Mac App Store. Apps that I've installed in other ways, maybe I had before, if I installed them from optical disks or downloaded them directly from a third parties, um, I don't have that X. But if I want to uninstall one of these applications, like here's Skitch, which I just installed, I can just hit the X button and it asks if I'm sure I want to delete and it will remove it. And that's how you do an uninstall using things you've installed from the Mac App Store. Now for other applications you could still follow the standard procedures that you did beforehand. For instance many applications come with uninstallers like for instance here is Flash, the uh, programming environment and I can see that there's an uninstaller right there in the folder. Uh, you can also check to see if the installer itself has an uninstall function. That's pretty common. And in other cases you would simply drag and drop an application file or folder from your applications folder to the trash and that's the easiest way to get rid of it. Rarely do you have an application that actually stores a whole bunch of data elsewhere. This happens sometimes with games, happens sometimes with big media things like say GarageBand stores a lot of music files. In these cases you pretty much know what you're getting into because you know that there's a lot of external stuff and an un uninstaller will take care of it. Uh, but sometimes there's these little preference files that are left in your preferences folder. You can see the previous episode but they're so tiny that it's really not worth getting rid of. You just leave them there. You have tens of thousands of files in Mac OS 10 so a little preference file here and there is not going to make any difference. Kind of like stopping your car on the highway to pick up a penny on the side of the road. Some applications even have an uninstall function built right into them inside one of the menus. Now if it's a particularly tricky program to uninstall what you would do is go to the website for that program and usually in their support section there's information about how to uninstall the app. Sometimes they have an uninstaller you can download, sometimes they just point you in the right direction, other times they contain a complete list of all the things you need to remove to completely uninstall that app. So there you go. Use Launchpad to remove programs you install with the Mac App Store. And if not, look for an uninstaller. Look maybe for the installer to see if there's an uninstaller function. Consider just dragging and dropping the application to the trash, which will work in most cases. And as a last resort, go to the website for help. So some people like to use third party app removal applications. But I don't see the point to installing an application to remove another one. If you just know these simple things, you can remove them on your own. You don't need to install anything else. So hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.